kuhusiana na utafiti wa DNA. Kuna swali ambalo nilikuwa nimelisoma hapo awali kabla ya kwenda mapumziko la Antonio Makanga aliyesema from my view as a biochemist Kenya has a long way to the success of this program. Yeye anasema eh, sababu zake ni hizi. Kwanza hii shughuli gharama yake iko juu. Pili inahitaji vifaa vya hali ya juu ambavyo pia gharama yake iko juu. Tatu hakuna eh, madaktari wa kutosha ama uh, wale ambao wanashuhudika na mambo kama haya. Anasema eh, we need to train more bioinformaticians. Ni kweli hizi sababu zake zina msingi. Yunis. Um, kulingana na vile amesema the machines ambazo zinatakikana ni mingi kufanya hiyo test mm -hmm. na um, kwa maoni yangu ni kwamba ingekuwa vizuri um, ipangwe kutoka serikali huko juu vile tunaweza tuka tukaanza hii eh, testing um, na ifanywe kimpango tuseme tuansi parliament tukuje senate tu, tuende um, mahara pengine kama sasa kwa wanajeshi mm -hmm. tukiendelea hivyo sem kadhaa serikali kwanza tukave hizo alafu ndio kwe tena na mpango. Sasa hii ita, itamanisha ya kwamba kutakuwa na ile kitengo ita, itaundua ku, kushugulikia ili chambo. Kwa hivyo mda utakautikuliwa uta kufanya utunguzi kama utakuwa mda mwingi. Yes. Sababu um, Kenya tuko saidi ya milioni arubaini mm -hmm. na hawa ni watu wengi ku, kuwafanya mara moja. So ini, ni kwa maoni yangu ni kitu kama itaenda kwa mda mrefu mm -hmm. na lazima ipite kwa mpangilio fulani. Naam. Kuna mwingine hapa labda daktari anaweza kujibu swali lake. Yeye wasiwasi wake ni huu. Kuwa wakati ambapo kuna kusajiliwa hata kwa pasipoti ama kitambulisho utapata kuna wengine wanaweza kuchangana picha. Upate wewe pasipoti yako ama kitambulisho chako utapata wewe ni mwanamke lakini unapata picha iliyowekwa ni ya mwanamume. Sasa ikiwa kuna hii ya DNA hakuwezi kuwa na mchanganyiko kama huo uh, kusema kweli hakuwezi kuwa na huo mchanganyiko uh, ni tuseme kwa mfano tukitaka kupima uh, damu katika kesi ya uh, kujua baba ya, ya mtoto ni nani kwa okay. tunachukua katika kif, vifaa hivi na kwa vifaa hivi uh, kunayo namba iliyo hapa mm -hmm. na pia kuna tunaita barcode mm -hmm. ambayo iliyo hapa mm -hmm. na sasa ukichukuliwa damu na yekwe kwa katika kifaa hiki uh, hiyo namba na hiyo barcode huwa inafuata hadi pali hiyo sample itaingia kwa uh, maabara mm -hmm. ili ipimwe na mashini inaisoma hiyo namba na itatoa ripoti kulingana na hiyo namba na hiyo ripoti ikija kwako pia we utaweza ku, kuangalia hiyo ripoti iliyotolewa na mashini na uhakikisha ya kwamba imelingana na hiyo namba kwa hivyo kuchanganyika kwa hizo eh, ripoti huwa ni ngumu sana lakini unajua kuna filamu ambazo ukiangalia unaona kuna watu wanaenda wanabadilisha ili hakikishe kuwa yale matokeo anayotarajia yaweze kutokea hayo mara tu mnapochukua sampuli mnailinda kwa njia gani kuhakikisha kuwa mtu hawezi kuhitilafiana na huku kuhitilafiana nayo okay um, wakati mtu anakuja kufanya hii test ya DNA uh, ikweni profiling uh, kwa sababu kwa maabara yetu kuna watu wamekuja hapo na wanatuambia mimi nataka kuchua profile yangu. Mm -hmm. um, watu kama hawa wanakuja na kitambulisho, yani the national ID mm -hmm. na kuna mahali ambapo wana sign kama ku give consent I want my profile to be done. Mm -hmm. And then uh, kwa maabara yetu uh, kuna uh, backording system ambayo 
uko na mgonjwa fulani akiingia kuna a unique number ambayo inatumika mpaka mwisho wa, wa ripoti na tuseme um, kama sasa kuna mabara zingine ziko na fifa amba, ambavyo uki unaweza ukalinganisha hii namba because iko na national id number and then iko na this unique number so mm -hmm. if we have um, it system yenye ina link kwa hii kwa the national database i think it's a nice program mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. we can avoid these mix ups naam daktari kuna uhusiano gani kati ya uchunguzi wa dna na uhalifu ama kupambana na uhalifu ama kuhakikisha kuwa Kenya iko salama zaidi okay uh, kwa hivyo pia dna huwa inaweza kutumiwa kupambana na uhalifu uh, kwa sababu tunasema katika kila uh, pali ambapo uhalifu umefanyika uh, kuna hiyo tunaita trace evidence ya kwamba kuna kitu ambayo mhalifu ataacha pale amefanya kitendo hicho na tuweze kama wakaguzi kuichukua na kufanya uchunguzi zaidi uh, kwa hivyo tuseme kwa uh, kama uh, mwanamke akiwa amenajisiwa kuna uh, hiyo semen ambayo pia iko na DNA tutaweza kuichukua kama tuseme ni uh, mtu ambaye tuseme kama ameua mtu na tuseme ni kwa kunyonga alafu mwenye amenyongwa tuseme akwaruze ngozi ya mwenye amefanya kitendo hicho tutaweza kutoa hiyo DNA kwa makucha yao na tufanye uchunguzi na tujue ni nani ambaye amefanya kitendo hicho. Naam. Uh, mtazamaji toko tunazidi tu kuangazia swala hili lakini kwa sasa nataka turejee katika kongamano dhidi ya ufisadi linaloendelea uh, katika eneo la Bomas uh, hapa jijini ambapo hivi sasa anayezungumza uh, ni Mudhoni Kimani mkuu wa kitengo cha kurejesha mali iliyoibwa kutoka kwa umma yani asset recovery. Anonymously giving us intelligence that so and so has bought this property. Can you check out? I hope the banks will support us better than they have done in the past by reporting uh, suspicious uh, transactions which are taking place. I hope the other keepers of our data will share with us the information because we are, we are confidential. We have a law. We don't have to wait for anybody to be convicted. We have a law that allows us to trace assets and confiscate them by just following the civil procedure, going to court, making an application based on reasonable ground, and we are able to then freeze these assets. Freezing of assets is very, very important because it's meant to disrupt and dismantle. Unfortunately, we don't get, if we don't get these orders, if the police don't get these orders, the criminals will use that money to frustrate the police from investigation. They'll buy, they'll buy witnesses and they'll also buy their way in the system. So please Kenyans support us, report this, make sure that you're vigilant, but don't make malicious uh, reports. Just tell us we suspect so and so. Because when we had this, um, there was this hashtag, when we checked that information, most of it was more of fununu as opposed to real things. We know there are Kenyans of goodwill who can support us and we'll be able to fight this war. It's a difficult war, it's complicated, but it requires vigilant citizens, citizens who are, as my colleague has said, who are the first police officers. So thank you very much. If you have any questions, we are a small office. We, we like to be under the radar. We don't like to be on top because if we come on top, then people will be start running away from us. But we like to be under the radar. But if you report the DCI, the DCI is able to escalate the cases to us and we're able to then trace the assets. Don't allow your money to be stolen and used to the benefit of a few Kenyans as opposed to the benefit of the public. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, Modoni Kimani again the message is very very clear to us. Na kutoka Boma sebu tureje kwa kile kikao cha wale wabunge wa ODM ambao wanatazamia tu hatuwe tayachukuliwa na chama hicho hatua za kinidhamu. Hebu tumsikize mbunge wa Malindi Aisha Jumwa anavyosema kuhusiana na hilo. 